everyone i hope you're all well now i've just decided to film a quick video clip because i had a lumbar puncture yesterday and for any of you that want to know what a lumbar puncture feels like and like afterwards i thought i'd make this video so um i on mon on sunday i got admitted into hospital um I basically had to stay overnight and then they tried to do a lumbar puncture on Monday. The person that did the lumbar puncture on Monday couldn't do it properly and kept hitting my nerves so it was making my legs jump up in the air and it was really really painful. So then they decided, if bearing in mind I've had about seven lumbar punctures, they said that the next lumbar puncture will need to be under sedation and I was quite worried because I've never had a lumbar puncture under sedation before. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So Tuesday came along and no lumbar puncture. So I spent another day in hospital just sitting there in pain waiting to be sorted out. Wednesday came along and my doctor came in in the morning and said, actually, we're not going to do a, um, like a sedated lumbar puncture. We're just going to do one because there isn't any like nephritis that will be able to do it because we're so busy. So they literally did a lumbar puncture there and then the guy that did it was amazing. This time I didn't feel anything. Um, and it's just like an instant release. So yeah, so I had that done. Came home yesterday afternoon. Woke up at three o'clock this morning in excruciating pain in the front of my head and the sides of my head. Um, I had to take some paracetamol and my spine is killing me, I kid you not. Every time I cough, if I laugh, if I walk, my spine hurts. And I think it's because of Monday when they did the failed lumbar puncture that it's just added like tissue damage or something. But it is so painful that I just have to lay in bed. I've also got a low pressure headache so when I'm lying in bed at the moment, I feel completely fine. As you can see, I'm in bed, but I'm still, like, I'm dressed because I can't. It's just, it just, I can't even bend down really to take my jeans off because it just hurts. So, I'm in a bit of a state, but I wanted to make this, like, short video clip so you can see what it's actually like because I know when I've done my first IH video, I did it, like, with all the lights and all the makeup and just said, like, I'm feeling a lot better now. But this is the actual reality of what this condition's like. This is me at my worst. I can't, like, if I sit up, I'll be in excruciating pain. If I'm lying here, then I'm absolutely fine. My mum brought lunch up to me earlier and I had to eat it on my back in bed. I mean, just, yeah. So I've just got to rest at home um, and see what happens. But hopefully this is everything sorted. I will mention that um, the pain in my eyes has um, disappeared. So that's good. I had constant pulsating tinnitus in my right ear, that's completely disappeared. I don't know whether that's um, a temporary thing, it might be, but every time I have a lumbar puncture that does happen, so I'm so pleased that I get a little bit of relief, but I might start crying again if that starts back up. So yeah, I really want to wash my hair and I really want to have a shower because I've been in hospital, but I just don't have the energy to do it. So. This is exactly what this is like. Um, September is IH Awareness Month, so I thought I would make this. It's ironic that I'm actually suffering with it quite badly at the moment, but hopefully this is the end. I've got a treatment plan in place. I've got a neurologist that I'm going to be seeing who's taken over my previous one because I got a letter to say that she's leaving in a couple of weeks. So hopefully I'll be sort of followed up and sorted out from that end. And, yeah, so, hopefully this is everything sorted. I know in my um, previous video I made that um, I wasn't too sure what to do at the time. Uh, I did go back to the doctors after that um, video was made and 
um, they took me off the drug that I was taking in that video called Topiramate because it was making me ache all over, it was making my neck really stiff and I was literally just crying at anything so yeah so they took me off they took me off that so I'm not on that anymore and um even when I saw that doctor though he said I've got a migraine and then when I went into hospital he said no we can see papilledema in your eyes you have got IH like it is your condition and it does make you so frustrated because when you know your symptoms and someone's telling you no it's just this like just rest and you'll be fine it's so frustrating but at least it's getting sorted now and hopefully I'm on the road to recovery but I will keep you all updated hopefully in the next video I will feel a lot better um, but I wanted to make this anyway because like for anyone that's suffering with this condition um, or who's had like lumbar punches before this is the reality of what it's like um, you will get low pressure headaches and it will make you feel awful but you just have to rest and get through it and from now at the moment it looks like I'm absolutely fine this is only because I'm lying down if I was sitting up I would be in excruciating pain right now so yeah hopefully hopefully this is it because I don't want to go back to hospital again because that was just an absolute nightmare and I knew that I didn't need to be sedated and they were like oh we're gonna sedate you and I was like, thinking but why I've never been sedated before like it's not like I get really stressed out or worked up over them I'm quite relaxed throughout them but when someone's hitting your nerves and your legs are shaking like legs are twitching uncontrollably there's nothing you can do about it so oh what a nightmare but but yeah so I'll keep you updated. I'll probably make a video, another video in like a week's time or something, just so you know, like where I'm at. They've doubled my medication, so I'm taking like a couple of acetazole on my tablets a day. Um, so hopefully that will keep it at bay. But yeah. I hope you found this video informative. I'm sorry it's just like a little bit jumbled and a little bit messy, but I wanted to give you the reality of what this condition's like since it is um, September and it's IH Awareness Month. If you've got any questions about this condition, then let me know in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.